Hi, Shalom sisters. This is Sister Yaskaya. And today I'd like to talk about our trials and tribulations. Um, you know, we're living in the last days of time and it seems like uh, things are really ramping up, not only in the world, but also in our personal lives. And uh, the Lord showed me um, not long ago that there are three different kinds of people that we can relate to when we ourselves are in trial. All right. So the, the scripture gives us a glimpse of how we should react when something terrible occurs. I know when tribulation comes, it's so difficult even to think, um, especially if it's a very hard situation. But we have to always remember that, you know, every good gift is from above. Every good and perfect gift is from above. And it comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In the book of Jeremiah 29 and 11, the Lord says that he knows the thoughts that he has towards us, okay? And that they are thoughts of peace and not of sorrow. And they're also to bring us to an expected end. So today we're just going to examine how to approach trial. Life through a biblical perspective. So now we got to understand, sisters, that we are at war. All right. Tribulation is coming, it seems like, from every direction, from every angle. Satan knows that he has just a very short time. And God has already given Satan his charge and how far he could go in our lives. Okay? Many strong and courageous saints have given up and many have fallen away. But we cannot give up. We must continue to persevere through trial, through tribulation. Will we be like King Saul once we mess up in a trial? Just continue to mess up, you know, until we lose our salvation? Or will we be like Peter? And even though we cursed, and even though we fell short in the trial, will we still continue to love God? Will we still continue to hear God? And we, will, we still, will we still continue to feed his sheep? You know your purpose, saints. And if God has commanded you to feed his sheep, you know he has given you that charge. Y'all, we got to continue to fight because we're at war. All right? We are at war. But there is a bomb in Gilead. Okay? Are we going to be like the soldiers in the book of Judges who returned from the war because they were afraid? Or will we be like those who through fatigue lapped water like a dog to gain the strength that they needed to continue into war to continue 
strong in battle. If you are chosen, endure the trial as one who understands that God is our salvation. Nothing in this earth should be able to stop us from entering into the kingdom because nothing in this world can separate us from the love of Christ. These are the things we have to remember, y'all, when we are going through hard time, when situation seems to pile upon situation, when one thing is happening after the next and it seems like there is no end, when pain comes and it seems like there's no relief, Jesus has already wrought the victory. This is what we got to remember, saints. Now all we have to do is to learn to walk in that victory. You see, Christ has already paid the price. He has already redeemed us with his blood. So now all we have to do is to learn to receive that. You see, that's, that's what we have to do. That is our duty. You know, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, he has already taken the punishment for us. And by his stripes, we are already healed. How will we face trial? Because the time is at hand and our trials are preparing us to be able to stand in this last great day of deception. Y'all remember, we used to play that little Mario video and Mario and Luigi would go through all these different trials and at the end, there would be one big trial that they had to endure in order to get to the next level. That's what our trials and tribulations are like in unto. Okay, y'all? We got to get through these small trials and tribulations in order to endure the last great day of deception because many will be taken in that day. And I don't want to be taken, saints. I want to endure. Will we be like the lady who ate her baby in the book of 2 Kings because of famine? Or will we be like the lady in 1 Kings chapter 17 who continued to live during the days of famine when she met Elijah? Now in that day, that young lady understood that times is rough, you know, and the famine has come. And she prepared in her mind for the worst, but she still had faith in her heart because she had already heard the voice of the Lord who told her he was going to send her someone. And though she believed in her heart what the Lord had said, she continued to live her life, understanding that God is able to save me. But if he doesn't, we're going to continue to live our lives and we will prepare for the coming of Jesus Christ. We will continue to live our lives 
and we must continue to prepare for his coming. We got to be like soldier sisters, you know, because we're here in this life. We cannot begin to grow weary with all of the things that are compiling upon us, with all of the trial and tribulation and 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 uh, occurrences that could cause stress. We cannot um, begin to grow faint, but we have to learn to take all of these burdens and lay them at the feet of the Lord and then take upon ourselves his yoke for it is very light we must learn of the Lord because he has given us peace in the middle of the storm okay and all of what we endure in a day the Lord will keep us in most perfect peace as long as we can keep our eyes on him you know will we be like Peter and focus on the Lord and walk on the water or will we be like Peter and take our our eyes off of Christ and begin to look at our situation to begin to look at our trials to begin to worry and stress and sink And then will we be like Peter and understand that we can call out Lord and understand that he'll put his hand out, you know, and he'll lift us back up out of the water so that we don't drown in our trial. Sisters, in these last days, we have to be most diligent in prayer, most diligent in seeking the Most High God. We got to be in the Lord's Word day and night so that we can begin to uh, receive the manna that has been given unto us that we can eat in this last day, that we might be able to receive the instructions that were given to us on high, that we might be able to remember the things that have been given to us in order to move forward in this great last day, like Daniel and the three Hebrew boys, because hidden in the pages of the book of the Holy Bible is where we will find the strength that we need to continue in this life until the end, that we might be called to be with the Lord when he comes at the seventh last trump when he calls his people young I want him to call me too so if you want him to call you too we have to get the word in our hearts the scripture says that 
we must hide the word in our hearts that we might not sin against the Lord. 